Pronto? No, no, faccio un'intervista. Tonight I am talking with Aldo Macchiato, little known within our shores. Aldo's films reign supreme throughout continental Europe, so he tells me, and here you see a clip from his masterpiece, Ispettore and the Beatnik Menace, a searing expose of wild bohemian pot parties. Yes, it is true, Captain Corelli is overweight. By all that we hold sacred, what kind of criminal filth are we up against here? The worst kind of filth. Not beatniks. Virgin Mary, stop right there. You have a nerve showing your face here, Inspectory. I have grave doubts about your capabilities and your ethics. So there. <laughs> now be so kind as to leave my property. So, Aldo, your first cinematic memory. What is it? It's a very important question, Basil. The first film I ever saw. A steam train pulling into a station. And from that moment on, I knew exactly what I wanted to be. However, my father, he said, no, you cannot be a train driver. So, I go into cinema instead. So, Aldo, what is it that tweaked your cinematic nipple? Film, to me, has always been about exposing oneself. I believe that I should expose myself to the people. I believe I should expose my actors to the people. And the actors expose themselves to the people. But I don't think the people should expose themselves to the actors. I, that would be just wrong. Is it true, Aldo, that you threw a stuffed owl at Marcello Mastroianni? Yes. Yes, Basil. I threw a small stuffed owl at Marcello Mastroianni. It was a silly argument over another stuffed animal, to be precise. But it, that's another thing. Gina Dorobrigida. Sophia Loren. Claudia Cardinale. None of them would work with you. Any reason why not? I did make approaches to all three, beautifully. But you know, in the film business, contract and sign this, and, uh, away in September and sign that. So, but in the end, uh, not too bad for me because I walk away with a caution. Your influences, Aldo. Who are the directors you most admire? Yes, man. Is an important question. Really? But from myself, no one. And what has been your most head scratching challenge to date? The biggest challenge for me was during tricycle thieves. We couldn't find a tricycle. We found lots of bicycles, of course, with the two wheels. We even found a very strange four wheeled bike. Sinking to trousers. It took us over three months to find the right tricycle. Now we are going to see an excerpt from Ispettori and the Last Train to Murder, in which Remy on the rocks Martin once again gives his usual gutsy, dynamic performance. This must be the body, Mr. Observant as ever, Sergeant. Inspector, what are you guts telling you? This man was dead before he hit the ground. That makes five. Now I understand there are moves afoot in the Catholic Church to have you burnt at the stake. What do you say to those priests who are urging the Pope to do this? I explained at the time a simple misunderstanding involving certain cardinals, the Pope, a stuffed bear, Murder squads, corruption in the police. But, you know, it could happen to anyone. You just completed shooting in Sicily. Are you still on the run from the mafia? Basil, you don't mention the mafia. Don't mention it. No, no. No one heard anything. No one said mafia. Not you.